Hey, it's Sunday, we're going to get bagels. <laughs> Hi guys, um, good morning, happy Sunday. I know it's kind of crazy because we, I posted a video on Saturday and not Friday, and then I didn't film yesterday, so I'm filming a little Sunday vlog. So welcome to today's vlog. Happy Monday for those of you who are watching when I posted this. And I'm happy to be back. I missed vlogging. Strap in for another episode of Vlogmas. Secure the bag. We got two cheddar jalapeno bagels. Okay, it's a big moment for us. So Cody and I are gonna go to Starbucks and we are leaving Chili alone in the house by himself. Now we've obviously left him alone in the house by himself before, but he usually is in a little pen. There's nothing that he can get at. I'm just more worried about him in general. Aww. That really just fucking spits it at him. We'll be right back, Chili. There he is, just standing at the top of the couch. Hopefully it stays that way. That candy cane is not on the floor of our house. <laughs> 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 kind of looks like it, but that's part of the app. All right, guys, we just got to... All right, guys, so we just got our drinks, and I cannot wait to... <laughs> okay, so I finished all the drinks on, like, the regular Starbucks holiday menu. So what I did, someone DM'd me, thank you, Asha? Asha? So they sent me these drinks. Oh, hello. You gotta remember how much horsepower this car Jesus has, Jesus okay? Christ. Okay, so she sent me like a list of, she said she works at Starbucks and here's some festive drinks to try. So I used one of those. I got a grande cold brew with two pumps of toasted white chocolate mocha with chestnut praline cold foam. So here we go. Hmm, it's pretty good. I don't, I don't hate it. I love that chestnut praline foam. That's really good. I don't know if I love the toasted white mocha sauce that much. But I like the idea of it. I'm a big chestnut praline girl, who knew? Wow. Okay, so that is a Starbucks drink of the day. And coming up soon will be your ratings from the drinks of last week. Also, Cody got an eggnog latte again. <laughs> Sue me, I'm a man that knows what he likes. That's true, honestly. We're home. Good job, buddy. You did such a good, good job. job. He survived. Okay, guys, a couple things I need to cover here. Bah! Why don't I use the reusable cup? Because I'm not allowed to because of COVID. Okay, there's one thing we need to cover. <laughs> Two, Taylor Swift's new album. It's amazing. I need to listen to it all the way through like a few more times to really gather my opinions because it's the, I can't just shout out what I feel when it's not valid. And three, we got a new piece of art that I wanna show you guys. Isn't it beautiful? Very excited about this. This was an anniversary gift to me from Cody this year, and I love it. That is that. We also hung this art, which I also love. Back to the Taylor Swift thing, I'll eventually tell you guys what I think. I obviously love it, but it's more like which songs do I love the most and all of that, I'm still deciding. Did somebody say Sunday fun day? No, you just turned the camera on and it's been, it's been completely quiet. I actually said Sunday fun day earlier and you know that, so. You said it in the car earlier. Yeah, so somebody did say it. Yeah, but not recently. Okay. So it should be, did somebody recently say <laughs> Sunday fun day? <laughs> it's Sunday fun day. So we are making Christmas punch. I don't know, I saw this on TikTok, big surprise. So we're gonna make this this punch and build this gingerbread house kit. So it's basically like a drunk gingerbread house building experience, but I'm sober right now, so I don't know how drunk I'll be. Woo! Sunday fun day! God, I, I'm sorry about that last one. Okay, this is a little segment we like to call Cocktails with Cody. Guys. This could not be an easier holiday cocktail, all right? Ah! 
Jesus fucking shit. I uh, no. Easy peasy. What you want is ice. Put that in the pitcher, okay? Shake it, shake it. <laughs> OJ, kind of a uh, liberal pork. Whoa, 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 the cranberry juice. <laughs> Doesn't matter what order. Okay, sorry, this is cocktails with Cody, not cocktails right. with control freak Kelsey. <laughs> okay, and then. <laughs> oh, gee. Hmm. I will stop there. And then, oh, a little bit of Prosec. Just give it that nice bubbliness, you know? And then, if that wasn't enough, let's go right here. Oh, that was, what is this? What is that? Whatever. Pop these in, okay? And we rinsed the lime. Please don't worry. I know you guys are worried. Put that bad boy in there, and then you want to give it a good stir. I don't know why this person said that this was holiday punch on TikTok. There's nothing holiday about this. This is like summer punch. Is it good? Yeah. A little squirtle of this. There you have it. Holiday punch. <laughs> Full of Christmas cheer. Ho, ho, ho. Actually, is really good. <laughs> I just get a little like awkward and embarrassed when I have to try things on camera. Why? I don't know. Just like, what if it's bad? And... You have to pretend like it's good. Yeah. You don't have to pretend. You can just but say that it's bad. I also just am like, yeah, about a lot of things. Mm. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Why don't you just dice roll walk out of here, okay? Okay, that was fucking a good dice roll. <laughs> Did you see that? I hate that move so much. Ugh. All you need is a couple fun glasses. You can see here the colors kind of, you know, as you change the colors change. It's cool, kind of like a chameleon sort of uh, deal going on. Um, but you need a couple of glasses. I prefer tall ones as opposed to, as opposed to short little chodes. I prefer a little length to the glasses. I, I find that the drink lasts longer than <laughs> Thank Here God we ice, thank God we filled those with ice. If that doesn't scream Christmas, I don't know what does. All all hail Jesus. <laughs> all hail baby Jesus. Fem fin dang fry um fin oh come hail the Jesus. He's Jack to Jesus. E.T. phone home. Twin flame. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so I took a shower. Now, I said we were gonna do a gingerbread house, but I feel like we have to save the gingerbread house. You know, that's the big shebang. The shebang. The shebang bang bang You know what I mean? So instead, we're gonna decorate. Oh, did you hear that sound? I don't. Instead, we're gonna do holiday ornaments. Decorate your own holiday ornaments. That's what we'll do first. And then, if all goes well, I could do a drunk gingerbread house making in another Vlogmas episode. Cause it's, we got all month, people, you know? Okay, here's a little unboxing haul. Here we go. So we have red icing, white icing, green icing. Now we have these beads that are like little candies, I'm assuming. We have some things. Do people, are people actually gonna hang these on their tree? That seems like a recipe for ants, um, but that's fine. Some things to hang them, and then some little, fun little candies, and then the ornaments. They smell really good. I feel like we'll be able to eat these. So while I was showering, I was listening to the Taylor Swift album, and that shit is really good. How does she keep doing it? Okay, so we have a little snowflake that I accidentally just broke that I might throw. Um, snowman, Christmas tree, and present. Are you icing these bad boys? Mm-hmm. You're decorating them? Mm-hmm. Can I have a little bit of this one? Okay, so we have to um, massage the icing pouch for one to two minutes. Stop it. Give it a little snap. Yeah. You have a little bit of tightness in your shoulders. You stressed about something? Jeez. You should ask me questions. Ask me Christmas trivia. Let's play like a word association game. Like you What's sing. the biggest Christmas thing that you've ever done? Celebrated. <laughs> okay. What is 
Yuletide. What does that mean? Oh, Yuletide. Ancient Yuletide carols. Um, it's like it's um like when you gather around the Yule and you sing. It's actually right between high tide and low tide. That's what <laughs> they call Yule Tide. What sound does a jingle bell make? Okay, I'm gonna start with the Christmas tree. Jessica. Why do we wrap presents? Um, the element of surprise. What if you just walked out? All your presents are under the tree and they're just all open. Well, what's the difference between walking into a room and seeing something for the first time and opening wrapping paper and seeing it for the first time? What's the difference? The wrapping paper, you like, you get to like guess what it is and you feel it and you rip the paper off and it's like a joyous thing. Do you think it's messed up that Christmas for all of us kind of more built on a giant lie than it is anything else? No, I yeah. don't. I think it gives everyone just something to believe in that makes people happy for once in their lives. Like it's just a happy time of year for, for, for some people. Some okay. people it's not, but. <laughs> That's not easy at all. It's gonna take five hours. Are you supposed to do the white first, like the base? No, you get to decorate it however you want. Yeah, but when you're, when you're doing graffiti, yeah. you always do the base first and then you outline it. Cool. I mean, I'm just, just coming, speaking from experience. From you all my do time. graffiti. Do you have tagging and doing graffiti? In Canada? Yeah, of course. I'm a, I'm a graffiti artist. Okay, so here are the final products. That one's terrifying. This one's ugly, but kind of beautiful. Those two are actually like not bad. Okay, Cody? I'm pretty actually surprised at how like, it looks good, but I'm saying it doesn't look appetizing. Like the no, color it, it looks of this bad. icing I'm is, well aware that it looks, th I This didn't. looks like a tomato sandwich. This was like ketchup right here. Tomato sandwich sounds delicious. Oh my god, I can't believe you just did that. It's fine. It's fine. It's gross. Let's try just a plain one and see if it's even good. No, not really. It's actually kind of bad. I'm gonna hang this on the tree that we don't have. We don't have a tree because we're, we're getting so much new furniture and shit and I just didn't want to deal with it. Next year will be our first Christmas in the house. So thank you for this segment of drunk-ish, tipsy decorating. The grand finale will be the drunk gingerbread house that I will do in a later Vlogmas. Now it's time for the review of the Starbucks drinks for this week or last week, whenever you're watching this. Here we are again. Another week, another pyramid. Now this pyramid looks a little different, and that is because Starbucks was closed one of the days, and I drank Zane and Heath's delicious coffee, and I'm not including that in the pyramid because it was delicious, and it's not from Starbucks. These are our drinks of the week. And let's see where they landed. <laughs> I'm kind of drunk. Okay. <laughs> The last one on the list, we have the toasted white mocha. Now when I first tried this, I was trying to be positive. I was like, oh, it's kind of making me feel warm and fuzzy, and it wasn't. It was bad, and I couldn't even finish it. Which brings me to our third best, and also second worst. The drink I had today, the cold brew with toasted white mocha and chestnut praline foam. Now hear me out. I like the creativity. I really do. The issue here is the toasted white mocha pumps. I don't need it toasted, okay? I'm not at a campfire. I want a Christmas drink. The praline foam, chestnut praline foam, really good. Next up, second best on the list. This was a tough decision. I didn't know where my mind and my heart were at, but deep down, I did know. The Irish cream cold brew coming in at second. You might be thinking, whoa, Kelsey, you really liked that one, and that's true. I did really like it. But let me ask you this. What kind of drinks are we having? Hmm? We're having holiday drinks. And this uh, delicious didn't taste that holiday-ish to me. Which brings me to our number one best Starbucks drink of the day. The ice pepper and white mocha. I like, I'm actually smiling just thinking about it. It was so delicious. And, and it's crazy because the regular 
iced peppermint mocha was second to last last time. It's lucky that it had eggnog competing against it because obviously then it wasn't gonna be last. This tasted like a peppermint dream. It tasted like Christmas. It tasted like happiness. And it tastes like a little holiday treat and that is what I'm looking for. So the iced peppermint white mocha is at the top there. This was good. This was fine. This was shitty. And thank you for tuning in. Okay, you know what time it is. Advent calendar time. So we got 12, 13, and 14 today, right? Yeah. yeah, come here. So this is 12. Angel, cheers. Angel, cheers. What? No. Yeah, yeah. Bad. I don't like that one. Bad. I don't like that one. It's like a little too chocolatey. Yeah. 13, okay. lucky number 13. It's a little teddy bear. <gasps> is it? Oh, look at the cute, look at the cute little bit. Look at it. Oh, my favorite. That one's pretty good. I'm kind of weird. Yeah, not that great. Fourteenth, a little squirrel. Chili's favorite. Chili goes ape shit when he sees a squirrel, and he barks nonstop all day. Cheers. Whoa. That one actually tastes like squirrel. That's crazy. It's rustic. Wow. I love it. It's super gamey. Mm hmm. Ew, I hate that word. Thank you guys for watching, and I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.